nanotechnology is that field of research. I wouldn't even call it interdisciplinary, if you will, but it's that field of research. The, 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 the name was coined in 1974 by Norio Taniguchi from the Tokyo uh, Science University. And it's that field of research that is about the opportunity of manipulating matter working at a super, 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 super small scales. When I say about super small scales, this is why it's called nanotechnology. Well, let me let me uh, brief our audience here with a couple of examples that I think is super cool. You know, a human hair, a human hair, the size of a human hair is between 50,000 to 100,000 nanometers. Well, nanotechnology works at a scale that goes for one nanometer to 100 nanometer. And again, a human hair, 50,000 to 100,000. If you would like a nanometer is to a tennis ball, what that tennis ball would mean to Earth. I'm talking about super, super atomic sizes. And, and that's the technology, right? So, so I'm talking about the opportunity of building new things even creating new materials, because when you manipulate matter, uh, I mean, the behavior of matter, I'm going back maybe to my quantum computing, very brief science topic, which is that when you manipulate matter and those super nano scales, I mean, they change behavior and they change sizes and structures, even that. So back to you, Kevin, but that's that's the definition of, of nanotechnology, right? 